Hello guys, I thought I'd just do a new video for YouTube um, to show you my latest bit of gadgetry that I've just bought from my shack. Um, namely, the Sark 100 Antenna Analyzer. Now, I've always wanted an analyzer, but uh, as we all know, they're very, very expensive. Fantastic piece of uh, equipment to have in the shack, but quite expensive really. Um, until I found this on YouTube and it's for it's for sale for £40 delivered imported from I believe Hong Kong um, and as you may all know I'm quite uh, I'm quite forward in and importing things and giving them a go you know don't mind spending a little bit of money sometimes you win some sometimes you lose uh, but on this score I do believe it's a winner £40 delivered, the SARC 100 antenna analyzer, and it covers all the HF bands from 160 meters all the way up to 6 meters, 50 megahertz. So it's 1-2 one, one, megahertz right up to 50 megahertz. Now I've got it wired up here to my Diamond WD330S uh, terminated folded dipole, which is currently at about 15 foot above the ground, which isn't ideal. Um, I've managed to contact into Australia VK station so it does work uh, although 80 meters and 160 meters I, I seem to be struggling a hell of a lot with so I thought right let's get some money let's buy one of these things let's see what's going on um, and what I intend doing is taking all my measurements uh, making a log of it, making a recording of it and then uh, raising the antenna onto the chimney stack at one end uh, the other end tied to a tree and obviously I'm on a pulley mechanism to see, you know, see if it improves, I'm sure it will but this is uh, a recording of how much it will improve it or not as the case may be um, and let's give it a go, I'll show you how it, how it goes uh, up to now I'm fairly impressed with it to be fair um, you've got six buttons on there i don't know exactly what they all do but basic basic analysis showing the uh, impedance um the 50 ohms impedance and the uh, swr um it seems to work well and it also tells you uh the best frequency on each band as in the best SWR, what frequency is the best SWR on each band. Um, so let's go ahead. Let's do the chatting. Let's go ahead. I'll, I'll turn it on and show you how it's uh, how it works. I may have to pull the video in a bit so that you can see the um, the display. So I'll pull it out so you can have a quick look at the unit itself. It's powered by a simple 12 volt DC straight from my um shack power pack uh, so let's zoom in uh, it's a bnc connector but as you all know you can get adapters for um different plugs and whatnot so that's not an issue okay i'll just power it back up again so that you can see what happens on boot it comes up with a display uh like a post screen Displaying what it is, it's a SARC 100 version 13. Uh, you can also connect it via a mini USB uh, plug. You can connect it to a computer and update the firmware apparently. Now, as I said before, I haven't, I've only just got this contraption, so I, I don't have a lot of experience with it at all. Um, but apparently uh, I've been reading the manual which is free to download online um, and it says that you can up upload the firmware, update the firmware sorry um, and calibrate it, shows you how to calibrate it and whatnot. so uh, yeah I'll, I'll put the links for that underneath the video so that you can look for yourself but this is just a brief video just to show you it in action so to speak so as you can see the top line there is displaying the um, frequency uh, 14 100 uh, don't forget this is attached to the folded terminated dipole which covers uh, all the HF bands and I successfully use it on six meters as well 
Um, doesn't say in the manual that it will, but it does. And, you know, I enter the six metre contest uh, every month with this antenna. So, uh, yeah, it works on that. So, as you can see, we're on 20 metres at the moment, 14.100 uh, megahertz. Um, the SWR to the left there is displaying a 1.03. Hang on a minute, because it's not doing anything. I think it's turned itself off. So, that must be a setting that I can alter so that if it's not doing anything, it saves uh, power. So, back to where we were. SWR is 1.03, which is fantastic. Um, at 50 ohms, 49, 50 ohms, so uh, just gives you an idea. Now, I'll show you the scan. Now, bearing in mind we're on 20 meters, if we press the scan button, it'll go through the whole band to see what frequency is the best resonant for this antenna. So we start all the way down at 13 megahertz and it'll scan the whole, whole, whole band, the whole two, um, 20 meters, sorry. As you can see, the SWR at the side there. Right, the bandwidth, BW stands for bandwidth. So you've got four megahertz bandwidth. That's what it's just tested. Uh, press any key. And that is the most resonant frequency for the 20 meter band on this antenna. Now that is it is phenomenal. That, that is exactly what I want because I want to be looking into making my own antennas soon. Um, and that is fantastic. It shows you the, the perfect frequency. So from that, you can uh, alter and adjust the length. The, you know, if you're doing a, a dipole or a Yagi or whatnot, you know, you know what you're looking at. OK, um, so fantastic stuff. Um, if I change band, let's see what. Uh, let's see where we're we going. The 17 meter band. Uh, we could do an analysis on that one as well. Uh, so you're currently testing the, the antenna for the 17 meter band to see which frequency is the most resonant for that band. So let's press scan again and away we go. Don't forget the first screen will show you the bandwidth that it's tested. So it's a bandwidth of 2 megahertz for that band. If you press any key again. It will tell you the most resonant frequency for that band is 18.420 um, at 51 ohms, which again is fantastic. So let's see what else we've got. Uh, band, 15 metres, uh, 12 metres, 11 metres, 10 metres, 8 metres seven meters now this is the one six meters now this is the one that i'll be using this evening it's currently 7 p.m and at 8 p.m till 10 30 um i'll be entering the six meter uk ac contest uh, through the rsgb um, now this goes to show what my antenna is doing and i do believe that it's not matching fantastically at all but my Yaesu 450D with its internal antenna tuning unit seems to do the job. Although I do suspect it's not perfect. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. This is the idea behind buying this little gadget. And at 40 quid compared to what I was understanding could well have been above £200 to get a similar sort of um, piece of equipment to do the job. I, I don't think you can knock it at all. Uh, so we're on the six meter band now. I'm going to do an analysis. I'm going to do a scan and see uh, what we're looking at on this antenna. I think I'm going to have a shock to be honest, but here we go. So it starts at 49 megahertz. You can see it, it bleeps if it goes above two. Um, so at one point there it did go above two. So we've got a bandwidth of 1.68 megahertz for the six meter band. So let's press a key and see, see what frequency is the most resonant. Uh, there you see, there we go. 49.650, which as we know is out of band. Um, that's below the uh, frequency that I want for uh, the six meter UKAC. Now I haven't quite worked out how to 
check a particular frequency. You will be able to do it, I'm sure. Uh, now, what I'm looking at is somewhere in the region of 50.200 megahertz, somewhere around there. Check my band plan on that one, but I think it's somewhere around there. Now, what I want to be able to do is program that into the uh, SAC 100 and find out exactly what the uh, meter reading is there. Um, so as you can see, we're looking at, in fact, if I do a scan again, I'll roughly be able to see what the uh, readings are about f uh, 5200. So let's do that again because I wasn't watching. You've got your SWR down at the bottom, so it looks reasonably good there. I missed it again. Let's try that again. I missed it again. Hmm. I want uh, 5200, don't I? So let me, let me be quiet and let me watch, see what's happening. There we go. So you're looking about 1.8. Which is reasonable. It's reasonable. It's not ideal. Like I say, at 15 foot above uh, the ground, I'm sure I would do much better if I raised it, which is uh, what I'll be looking at over the next couple of weeks or so anyway. Uh, so there you go. That's the best match for that band is 49.600. Like I say, that's out of band. So even though it does work, excuse me, even though it does work, it's not ideal yeah so 450d seems to be doing a, a good job at matching that up uh, but as we know we'd, we'd rather have a resonant antenna than than get a um a tuning unit to do it you get far better results so there we go that's your six meter so let's have a quick look at because i do seem to be struggling on 160 and 80 meters so here's your 160 meter band now it does state in the manual that the uh, Diamond WD330S does work on 160. I've had no results on it whatsoever. Um, and looking at that, you're, you, the SWR may be high on that anyway. So let's give it a scan and let's see what's uh, let's see what's happening on this one. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, fairly high error, no matching whatsoever. There you go. There you go. That speaks for itself. Now, I wasn't aware of what was going on on there at all. You've got no indication on the 450D what, uh, what's happening. So, so the, yeah, that's pretty much the best, the best meter reading you'll get at 1.8, which is high. That's very high, so that'd be no good. Where's the band? So let's go 80 meters. Now, 80 meters on digital, uh, PSK... RTTY JT65 have had very limited results. Um, I think the furthest could well have been Eastern Germany, Belarus, uh, Austria. Um, so pretty much Central Europe, I would say, not too far at all. Uh, so it does work, there's no doubt about it, but I think the conditions have to be, you know, fantastically good. Uh, for this to work. I've had a couple, you know, local-ish down in Cambridge from Scunthorpe where I, my QTS, QTH is now. Uh, down to Cambridge, Norwich, areas like that. And like I say, not fantastic. And this is this is another reason why I want to raise the antenna. Let's get it up in the air and let's see what's going on. So, uh, meter reading doesn't look too bad. So, let's, whoops. Sorry about that. It's knocking the camera let's do a scan on this so see it bleep because it was above two on the swr reading so, doesn't look too bad that doesn't look too bad at all so you've got a 2.9 megahertz bandwidth that it's just tested and your best resonant frequency for that is 4.990 megahertz uh, again, I've not got a bad plan in front of me, so I'm not 100% sure on and I'm sure that's how to band, obviously, but uh, that gives you an idea of what's going on with the antenna. Fantastic bit of equipment. I've got to say, th this is great because uh, I shall be looking into making possibly a cobweb um, to go up outside. I've heard, I've heard some really, really good results from the cobweb um, antenna. 
uh, and it'd be great in my small garden. I haven't got a really long garden, you see. This is why I opted for the folded dipole originally. So uh, let's just give it a quick scan on 40 meters, and then I'll uh, then I'll crack on. Again, looking at the uh, SWR reading, that's pretty good. It's not bad at all. You've got a bandwidth of 3 megahertz that it's uh, just tested. Uh, and your most resonant frequency is 5.730 at 1.2 SWR with 36 ohms uh, impedance. So, uh, so there we go, guys. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit and just pick this up and uh, turn this off. Undo this. Like I say, BNC connector, so it's quick release, 12 volt um, feed, just from your ordinary power supply, your shack power supply, that's what I've got it rigged up to. So there we have it, uh, let me try and zoom in a little bit, see if it'll focus, I'm not sure whether it'll focus at that distance or not. No, just bear with us, let me get, to, let me get some sort of torch or something so that we can see what we're doing. So obviously you've got your on-off on-off switch on the top there, your BNC connector, uh, your, tw your 12 volt um, power connector, your mini USB. Now I haven't looked into this, you don't get a, a cable with it, but these are 10 a penny, you can pick one up anywhere. So I've got to research that. I'm pretty sure you can get the software uh, so that you can put all the data that you read on here in a graphical interface, graphical user interface, so it makes it a lot easier. So just briefly, I don't know whether I'm going to blind you or not here with my torch, but you've got from left to right, you've got six buttons. The left one's mode, so you can change the mode. Didn't go through that, actually. Uh, but that's all your different test features that you can uh, use with this. Uh, your band, so you can select your band. That's the second from the left. Config. Now, that, I believe, is how you um, uh, tune it. Um, you know, you clarify it. Uh, your scan button, That's uh, you've seen that in action. The scan, Scanning the particular band that you've chosen to analyse. And then your up down up down button. I presume that's how you uh, select a specific frequency. Like I was saying, if I wanted to um, uh, analyze the fifty point two hundred megahertz frequency to see what uh, what the meter reading was. So I do believe that's how you do that. So there you go, guys. Not a fantastic re review maybe, but it's just another piece of equipment that I wanted you guys to have a look at. Um, I'll take it into my local club next week and show them. I'm sure they'll be quite pleased with it. But £40, that's it. Yeah, and you don't build it, it's ready built. It's ready built in a case like that. All the way from Hong Kong, not a scratch on it. Arrived very well. I would say it took about 10 to 12 days to deliver. Um... So there we go, SAC 100 antenna analyzer, HF uh, 160 meters all the way up to 6 meters. Fantastic bit of kit guys, yeah, I'm pleased with this one. Alright, take care, 7.3's M6KNS.